<laughs> yeah, y'all doing? Hey, Denoris, thanks for joining us. Um, I guess if you want to just start off real quick with uh, kind of what your role looks like it's going to be with the Tar Heels moving forward. Um, kind of like a big brother mentee. Uh, but I'm also be assisting them with like financial aid and um, help them find housing, you know, just everyday life that they, they may come across or have to deal with while they're in school and, and whatnot. Just kind of kind of be like a mediator. Some of the, some of the guys, not, not saying they all will play in the NFL, but some of the guys will have a legit shots to do so. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have a whole lot of questions to ask. Um, if I can't answer them, I'll try to do my best to help find the answers for them. Um, my main thing is try to help limit the distractions. Um, I know they already be on the, a lot with dealing with school and dealing with knowing the playbook, knowing what they got to do. Um, just be the common ground and try to help help them balance out their life. Fantastic. We've got a question here from uh, Greg Barnes. Go ahead, Greg. Hey, Denoris. It's been a while. Um, how, how much of a, a personal experience is this for you being able to, to give back to the guys? And, you know, was this something that you could have benefited from when you played you know, 15 years ago? I did benefit from a guy we had when I was here named Andre Williams. And at times, especially early in my freshman year, I would, I would get homesick a lot. So I would come and sit in his office and just talk to him, um, knowing sometimes the coaches was unavailable, to, uh, whether they're game planning or they're handling recruitment or handling their daily lives as well. Uh, it was good to have people around that I could lean on and find answers. And if they, they didn't have them, they, they knew where to go or, and who may have had the answers for me. So just my own personal experience dealing with the person that's the role that I have is, is it, it helps, it helps navigate. It's like, it's just another guy you talk, you're talking to somebody that that's been there, done it, or has, uh, or, if, or if they haven't done it, they know somebody that has. So it's just resources, really, just being able to provide great resources for the guys. And, and social media has become such a factor in these these guys' lives. Um, what kind of conversations do you, do you intend to have with them about the impact on social media, both in terms of dealing with criticism that's sure to come their way, as well as kind of presenting themselves on that platform? Um, we're handling and we're handling with criticism. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet sometimes because a, a lot of times it can it can affect your character in the long run. And in this business, your your character goes a long way. Um, I feel so. I'm a living proof of it. I, I was a great player, but I was also a good person off the field. And the relationships I build with people off the field through media, through through social media, and just being in the atmosphere of campus, man. It was it was tremendous. It could help you help you in the long run. It could take you take you far. So I, my main thing I would instill to them is um, keep those relationships and and learn how to navigate through. I guess I would say good people and bad people uh, or the hardships they may get because uh, uh, criticism won't last long. But the way people see you and your character and your perspective, it'll take you a long way and it'll last even longer. All right, we'll take one more question. Uh, this one comes from Ross Martin. Hey, this is Norris. Welcome back. Um, what do you see your day to day being like? Um, you know, how's your kind of, how do you see your, your job being day to day? Just kind of a description there. Uh, well, so so far, I I, I will honestly think that some of the some of the players may just come just for on the field advice to start off, uh, especially with me just now getting here. It didn't make a lot of questions. Have already started, but they just mostly football questions. But I guess as my day to day goes, whatever comes up, if if they feel they could come to me, my, I was telling them my doors are always open. Um, you come to me, talk to me about anything. Again, if uh, I've been been there and done what you're trying to do, um, so I know how you feel. I know for guys who are out of state and have left home for the first time, I know how that can be. Um, guys who had to grow up pretty fast when they was kids to like help take care of the households. So just help navigate them through everyday life. And I'm pretty sure they at times they will come with more than I can handle. Or if I, or like I said, if I can't find the answers for them, we will find it, we will find it together. So uh, just, just being, uh, just being an extra person that they can lean on. They won't necessarily have to run to their position coach or run to coach, coach Brown. Cause those guys deal with, deal with a lot day to day already. So, just just being another another mentee in the building that could, could help us send them in the light in the long run. Great. All right. Well, thanks for a couple of minutes. Uh, welcome uh, back to Chapel Hill. We appreciate your time. Um, thanks for having me. All right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, joining us. And I believe that's what we'll have.